So I get a lot of questions and DMs every day, and the most common question I get are always clip related. Well, look no further as I'm going to be answering all your clip related questions, such as where to find good clips, how to properly import clips into After Effects without it crashing, how to make clips less laggy and smoother, and how to find clips with green screen and ZDEP. And we'll be covering so much more. I'll also be including all my clips and prereqs that I've released in the description down below, including some deleted ones that I've never uploaded before. Anyway, let's get right into the video. So first things first, let's start off with where to actually find good clips. Now finding clips depends mostly on the game you're editing. For example, the most common clips that have green screen and z-depth are CSGO clips, which is ironic because I find CSGO to be the hardest game to record. Uh, but nevertheless, if you're looking for z-depth and green screen clips, uh, CSGO is the way to go. Now the best way to find clips is to simply search up clips and desk on YouTube. You can also find depth and green screen clips for COD 4, MW3, and even Minecraft. However, those are kind of harder to find. As for games like BO2 and MW2, your chances of finding green screen and, and Z-depth clips are slim to none. Now correct me if I'm wrong because I'm not 100% sure on this, but I'm one of, if not the only person to ever upload green screen and Z-depth clips for BO2. And I'll explain why these clips are so rare. And the answer is really simple. The reason depth and green screen clips is so common for CSGO is because CSGO or HLAE records the fastest streams out of any game. Second place goes to COD 4, MW2, and MW3, and even Minecraft. And last place goes to Black Ops 2. Now don't get me wrong, I love Team A to death, but BO2 streams is without a doubt the slowest, most time consuming way to record. Not to mention the clip creator also has to upload and v-dub the clips or handbrake or do some other method that we'll talk about later in the video. But uh, in short summary, it's just too time consuming for, with almost little to nothing in return. Also, I want to give props to people who actually do upload their Z-Depth and green screen clips with project files. I respect people who do that because let's be real, nobody wants to spend an extra few hours v-dubbing clips. And if you're not looking for Z-Depth or green screen clips, clips are extremely easy to find. Another common question I get asked a lot is why can't I import these clips into After Effects or Vegas? Well, here are some solutions. Make sure to download the K-Lite codec pack. I recommend downloading the Mega Pack. And uh, if you download the Mega Pack, 9 times out of 10, you should be good to go. And if it still doesn't work, no worries, as this part will go into, which covers the next segment of the video, which is reducing lag and improving performance and stability. Now you have five options for this part. The first option, which is what I do, is VDub the clips. Virtual Dub is a program that allows you to import clips, change the codec, um, the speed, and the frame rate ratio. And uh, yeah, that's what I do. I usually VDub in Lagerth Lossless Codec, as that gives me the best performance. But uh, when I'm releasing the clips, I'll VDub them in Xvid because that um is the has the smallest file size. But yeah, for this part, I recommend you use Lagerth Lossless Codec, disable the audio, and boom, you're all done. The next method is by using AVI F-Rate. AVI F-Rate is essentially VDub, but without any of the settings. You just import your clips, and if you record at 30 FPS with a time scale of 0.1, then you can get 300 FPS, and if it's 60 FPS at a time scale of 0.1, you get 600 FPS. Now, the third method is by using Jimzor's Prereq or ProRec tool. Uh, I've never used it myself, but I've heard good things about it. The other method is by using After Effects to essentially render it out and then edit it afterwards. Uh, Corixia has a great video on this if you want to learn more about this method. Uh, and the last method is by using a program called Handbrake. Handbrake is essentially a program that converts any video or most videos into what is similar to an mp4 file. Now I hope that covers everything, but in conclusion, if I'm being 100% honest, I think you're a million times better off just recording your own clips instead of using prereqs, unless you're an absolute beginner. As recording your own clips, you have much more control on what type of cinematics you want, what type of clips you want, you know, like do you want a custom sky, a custom sun, do you want green screen and z-depth? And plus, if you record with DX Story, you don't really have to V-dub at all, as you can record straight to Lagrath Losses Codec and speed it up in After Effects. And this honestly will save you so much more time in the long run. And lastly, like I said at the beginning of the video, all my prereqs and clips will be in the description down below. There are instructions on what codec they're V-dubbed in and what frame rate and resolution they are to make things easier. But uh, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you found something helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe. 
Uh, if you have any questions, DM me on Twitter or Instagram or drop a comment down below and I'll respond to it. But uh, as always, guys, I'll see you in the next video and happy editing. Take care and I'm out, dudes. Peace. Thank you.